My name is Lucy Simpson, I'm a Yellowroy woman, freshwater woman from northwest New South Wales. I was born and have grown up here in Sydney on Gadigal Country and a lot of my inspiration for what I do as a designer comes from the natural world and comes from memory and experience. When I was little I loved making, I loved creating, I loved listening to story, I loved being with my family, I love my country and for me what I do today brings all that together. I was contacted by Group GSA to see if I was interested in a project to tell a local story for Osgrid and one that connected to elemental uh, forces in nature and, and the way you can connect those narratives through energy. I was doing some research about fire stick farming or cultural burns and traditional processes in care of country. and. It was a really beautiful connection for me, I found, to look at electricity or the lightning and the strike to the earth and the spark that ignites and from that, the growth and the new life. So this cycle, and in Uluroi we call it Bayangali, and it means the system in the natural world by which everything connects. And I thought that was a really beautiful concept and one that fit well with the brief and responded to uh, not only what Osgrid was, was looking to connect with, but also represented me and, and who I am and where I come from. Lucy Simpson's one of those rare human beings I find, especially in the Indigenous community, that not only can learn about the Indigenous culture and the concepts and to convey them in a way that people can, you know, touch or feel or experience, she doesn't just do that personally, she actually takes other people and stakeholders on that journey as well. So to actually get a rare designer at hand to actually be available to participate in this uh, venture is you know, even more extraordinary when you think about how low the numbers are out there of Indigenous designers. To be in these conversations, you know, while all this was still being designed, has been yeah, really powerful and empowering for me. To see such a wonderful commitment to recognising Aboriginal culture and presence, but also knowledge systems that I've been proud to be a part of. Design is this way that we communicate and I kind of love to rise to those challenges, to have those difficult conversations sometimes, beautiful, poetic, whatever they are, that's universal. So when we look at stories that everybody can connect to and relate to, that's where I think the magic can happen because rather than speaking of the difference, we speak of that place where we come together and, and that we are the same. For me, that's what reconciliation is about. As we are moving uh, all together on this journey towards reconciliation between non-Indigenous and Indigenous Australians, to actually build upon the workplaces or the environments to include Indigenous elements in there, it is fantastic to see. But I can reflect back onto my mother's generations, my grandfather's generations, to actually see these things being implemented and celebrated. It's been a transformative experience for me, I would say. If we can have opportunities like this, and I think about my little girls and, and the world that they're growing into compared to my old grandmother. Far out, man, you know. Things have changed a lot. I'm honoured to have a little tiny role in that.